before we talk about February 11th, which is uh, which is two on one day, Jack, you want to first start with you and 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 just talk about what two on one is. Um, we've done a few stories on it. We've done some ad campaigns on it. Um, but I still think there's a lot of people that may not know what two one one is. Two one one is a resource referral platform that um, when someone calls into two one one for help. Um, and it could be for all kinds of things. We have resources in our database that we can assist them with and get them the help that they need, uh, the resources that they need um, to uh, kind of help them out in, in some you know difficult situations. So um, it it has evolved from you know sort of a resource referral platform to uh, an honest to peat uh, data center now, a, you know a huge technology platform that. Um, not only is in Northwest Arkansas, but is uh, is across the state. So it's um, in the in the three years, I guess that we've uh, we've we put it back out there statewide. I mean, it's it's had phenomenal growth. Shay, let's talk about what it means for for those who who need this. It's it's one simple phone call, and and whoever answers is going to have something for them. That's exactly right. So, you know, um, with us being a United Way, we really do connect people to resource in the community. So having a tool like 211 really gives individuals um, those op that opportunity that they have they have a non-emergent need, food, housing, whatever it might be. It's a simple dial of 211 and they get connected to a live resource that's in their community. That's what's really nice about this. In addition, you do get connected to a live representative. So it's not an automated system. You get a live individual that can really have a conversation with you uh, to, again, connect you to those resources within our community. Jackie, when you say there is a database, what is what what are we talking about here? Is that database what the services are available? Yeah. So if you think about if you think about the and I'm going to date myself, uh, think about the old phone books. Um, a lot of those things in the yellow pages were uh, obsolete, out of date within a month after that thing was published. So in our database, um, everything is current. Everything works. The, the services that we list, um, you know, people are taking new clients, um, all of those kinds of things. So it's really an up-to-date uh, database that consists of resources that um, we know when we're referring someone to one of these resources that uh, that organization is open. They are they are actively helping people, and so it 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 helps. The last thing you want to do is refer somebody to a resource and, and that place closed, you know, a year ago. So we're constantly updating and, and tweaking and making sure that uh, the resources that we have in the database are, are active and, and, um, and responding. Jay, what's interesting about this is there's two different locations, obviously Northwest Arkansas, River Valley. Uh, what somebody might need in the River Valley is going to be different from what is in Northwest Arkansas. So having two different centers basically really makes a difference here. It does. To be able to regionalize a lot of the resources is is really vital. And, and I'll give some perspective. I mean, within the last two weeks, we've had a major uh, inclement weather storm that has come through. And what impacts Northwest Arkansas sometimes may not impact the River Valley the same. So being able to utilize the database to be able to upload resources that might be specific to the River Valley or specific to Northwest Arkansas, you know, we were able to put in the warming station. So we had several of our agencies throughout the community that opened up during that cold weather event to allow people in. We could upload that information into 211 for the call center representatives that take these phone calls. And Jackie, it seems that as as much as there are differences, it seems like there are still similarities in both locations. There are very very, very similar uh, needs um, by far. Uh, housing and shelter uh, in both in both communities are by far the number one resource requested. Um, you know, food food is also uh, uh, high on that list. Utility help is also high on that list, and those those three. Um, typically are the three of uh, the top three uh, resources in both communities. And you both can talk about this and Shay will ask you first. It's been around for a couple of years. How 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 big could this get or how much more growth is there? I believe there's tremendous growth still to happen. I mean, we we you know, we 
essentially launched this during the pandemic. I mean, right before the pandemic really hit is when it launched. And and with that being said, it was a, you know, kind of a jump right in, so to speak, uh, being able to utilize this. But I think we can really grow this even more. And, and you know, I, I had mentioned inclement weather here recently, but we've even responded to natural disasters such as tornadoes with this. I mean, it can be a volunteer hub as well. So a lot of what we do in the community is, is you know, leverage volunteers to go out and respond to crisis. And this platform can really help us do that. I think, Jackie, that applies even to Northwest Arkansas, no doubt. Uh, it does. Uh, it, you know, it, it, everything, uh, we, we try to be... Uh, uh, you know, pretty much all things to all people whenever they need a resource like that. But, um, but yeah, so the growth has been phenomenal. And when we, when we rolled this out, uh, in the pandemic, right, well, literally we, we opened the, we opened two one one the day that uh, the governor shut the state down. So, um, we were averaging about 230 calls a month, uh, in Northwest Arkansas, and it was not open to the state at that point until we so we did that literally the what was that March 19th of 2020 and um we're up to well we're we're right at 38,000 calls for the entire state uh this last year so you can see the growth has been phenomenal and um you know we've we've done zero advertising um and so we we're a little afraid to advertise it to market <laughs> market it because we'd be drinking through a fire hose again. So. Yeah. What a great, what a auspicious time to start a program like this, but it sounds like it is, uh, it has been very successful. G gentlemen, thank you so much for this. Um, what a great program and man, I hope a lot of people take advantage of it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah.